Okay. <coughs> Hi. Today we are going to see about the spread spectrum communication. Uh, what is mean by spread spectrum? In this, we are going to see about the use of spread spectrum and uh, types of spread spectrum. Uh, the use of spread spectrum is to increase bandwidth of the signal to be transmitted. Why we are going to increase the bandwidth of the signal to be transmitted? To avoid interference and third party usage, we are spreading a sequence to secure our data. Here, signal is further modulated using sequence of digits, which is spreading code or spreading sequence generated by pseudo noise or pseudo random number. Input is fed into a channel encoder, which produces analog signal with narrow bandwidth. The effect of modulation is to increase bandwidth of signal to be transmitted. On receiving end, the same sequence which is spreaded at the transmitter side is used in the receiver side also to demodulate the spread spectrum signal. After that, signal is fed into a channel decoder to recover the original data. This is the block diagram, general block diagram of the spread spectrum communication. Here the input data is given to the channel encoder which encodes the data and the channel encoder gives the output the output of the channel encoder is given to the modulator here we can use uh, any type of modulation techniques after modulation we spread the pseudo noise generator the spreading code here only after spreading the bandwidth of the signal is increased then the signal is transmitted through the channel at the receiver side the same pseudo random number spreaded at the transmitter side is used to demodulate the spreading sequence after demodulation at the second time we also demodulated using the sequence modulation types which is used at the transmitter side after demodulating the signal we get the original output data So what is the advantages of spread spectrum means immunity from various kinds of noise and multipath distortion can be overcome using spread spectrum communication which is used to hide the data and encrypt the signal and also several users can independently use the same bandwidth with very little interference. These are the some of the advantages of spread spectrum communication. The first type of spread spectrum communication is direct sequence spread spectrum. Totally four types are present in the spread spectrum. First one direct sequence spread spectrum, second one is frequency hopping spread spectrum and time hopping spread spectrum and last one is hybrid spread spectrum. Combination of any of three, the any of three means direct sequence spread spectrum or combination of a frequency hopping spread spectrum and the time hopping spread spectrum or combination of a direct sequence spread spectrum and time hopping spread spectrum or combination of direct sequence spread spectrum and the frequency spread spectrum is called as hybrid spread spectrum. The first type is direct sequence spread spectrum. Here each bit in original signal is represented by multiple bits in the transmitted signal. After that the spreading code spreads the signal across a wider frequency band. Then any one of uh, technique is used to combine digital information stream which the spreading bit stream using exclusive OR gate. Uh, this is the output graph of direct sequence spread spectrum communication. The first portion, first three graph represent the transmitter side sequences and the last three represents the receiver side sequences. The input data which is data A is given which is uh, modulated using locally generated PN bit stream. After that the data input and locally generated PN bit stream is exclusively uh, is R by exclusive OR gate which is uh, transmitted through the channel the transmitted signal is uh, represented as C here then the received signal at the receiver side that means the transmitted sequence C is received at the receiver side after that uh, the locally generated PN sequence at the transmitter side is used here the same sequence which is used at the transmitter side is used here to despread and uh, demodulated to recover the data input which is given at the uh, transmitter side. This is a general block diagram of uh, 
uh, direct sequence spread spectrum here the binary data ones and zeros is given to the modulator here bpsk modulation is used the output of the bpsk modulator signal is given to a mixer in this mixer the modulated bpsk sequence and locally generated pseudo noise sequence is mixed at that stage at this mixer stage the spreading sequence spreaded here only after that we get the spread spectrum output the second portion at the receiver side the spreader sequence signal is received on that mixer we generated pseudo noise sequence again the same pseudo noise sequence which is used at the transmitter sequence side is used here to despread the spreader sequence after despreading the demodulation that means the bpsk demodulator is used here to demodulate and get the original binary data as the output this is a, this is a one type of a sig spreading sequence that is data sorry that is direct sequence spread spectrum modulator at the next series we are going to see about frequency hopping spread spectrum thank you